Hey there, cool kids and chickens. Welcome. Today we are going to be doing an episode where we are promoting our new Discord, the Pokemon Fight Club, the PFC. Go ahead and check the link down below and join our Discord so you can take on the Gym Trainers Challenge. So today I'm going to Pewter City to challenge uh, Brock, aka Danny2188, to go for the Boulder Badge. So this badge is going to be fun to get because he can only use rock and ground types, whereas my only limitations are being able to use water, grass, and fighting types. I'm not allowed to use those, nor any legendary or mythical Pokemon. Best of three. So let's see how this turns out. All right, so our first battle. Oh, man, so this is cool. You're going to be able to see on... Your left, you're able to see me hit a chicken 34 battling Danny 2188 and see he brings out Valerian Stunfisk first where I bring out my Dragonair. Why I decided to bring that is because rock and ground are both weak to water and I got that Aqua Tilt that charges up pretty quickly. You see that he and I both swap and I swap into uh, Sableye and he goes into a Gliscor. Uh, Gliscor is pretty fragile, but so is my Sableye. So we're both just trying to win Switch right here, and let's see how it goes. I'm able to get a shield, he's able to get a shield, and now uh, he got me. He got me, so I'm going to let it go. We're going to bring out Obstagoon. I'm hoping he doesn't have a fighter, and he has got Pseudo Wudo, who is a pseudo fighter because he's got counter as his fast move. That's scary, so I'm going to swap back into my Dragonair. As expected, he swaps into Galarian Stunfisk, hits me with, oh, darn, he had two of them. Oh, can't win them all, cool kids and chickens. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to pull this one out. We'll be able to get at least one more here, but I'm out of shields, and hopefully he is not able to get two rock slides. Let's see what he has. One rock slide. Can we get to our cross shot before he gets to another one? Nope. All right. Well, I'm down 0-1. Hopefully, I'm able to pull out this win with these next masters. I decide to lead with a Sableye. He comes back with the Galarian Stunfisk first. Now, in between matches, you are allowed to change um, your lineups if you want. So is the gym leader. So let's see if he makes any changes and able to adjust to my adjustments. Sableye does really well, surprisingly, against Galarian Stunfisk. As you watch, I'm just spamming him with these um, foul plays. I already burned a shield. Oh, ooh, darn, he got me with the Earthquake. All right, going into Dragonair, I'm able to absorb this Rock Slide coming up. And now I'm just gonna farm. He comes into Gliscor, and you see me swap into my new Pokemon here, Clefable. Now, why I like Clefable here in this is because I am going to be resisting those um, bug moves that he has as fast move and the Night Slash. I'm just waiting for that Earthquake right there to use my shield. I'm out of shields. Now, who does he have next? Is he bringing out Pseudo Wudo? He brings out Pseudo Wudo, very interesting. Now, if I were the gym leader, I would have brought out um, Galarian Stunfist because that Steel Titan is gonna be resisting those charms. And boom, as soon as he brings them out, take in a couple more charms so I'm able to have my Meteor Mash uh, in my back pocket for Pseudo Wudo. Here we go, here it comes, and Meteor Mash. Boom, one on one, whoo, that was a good match. All right, do I get my badge with this match? I lead with a Garchomp. Homeboy is not expecting Garchomp, because Garchomp is not a great lead Pokemon, but I don't care. He swaps in the Gliscor, thinking I was gonna hit him with an Earthquake. No, I was ready for that switch. And now his Gliscor is just dead in the water. Bringing in that Clefable, charm him down. Oh, he he didn't bring in a Glaring Stunfisk again. Very interesting. He brings in a um, Diggersby, which Diggersby is a very tanky Pokemon. He's able to take a lot of hits, but I'm able to chunk a lot of damage with these charms and able to get a shield with that Psychic. What I was going for with that Psychic was trying to get his defense down. But I have Vigoroth in the back. He swaps, I swap, and there we go. We got this matchup again. Now I'm gonna burn a shield thinking that he's gonna earthquake me. Now he's gonna think I'm gonna earthquake him. I'm just gonna get his defense down with this um, sand tomb. Boom, here comes that earthquake. I didn't care, I just wanted to get that shield down. And here 
here we go. Now let's just farm all, all the way up because we want to save that shield for the earthquake from Digger Speed in case he has it or if he has a fire punch. That way we're able to get two body slams in because we're going to win this CMP tie right here. He's going to use his shield. He's, he's, he's out of shields, but uh, just in case uh, we lost CMP tie, we were able to have two in the back. And there we go. Got it. Well, we won. Good challenge. Lots of fun. Hope you all joined this Discord because I myself am a gym trainer for the Cinnabar um, City. I'm not the gym leader, all right? I don't have time to be a leader. I can only challenge people for being a trainer every once in a while. But come join. Have some fun. Take care and bye-bye.